So go back to your practice. Go back to again and again the sense of I am and stay there. The more self exploration you do in silence, the quicker you will get to your goal. And this week's main practice recognize, oh, I have contradictions. And write them down. These are the specific contradictions that I have. I notice that my goal and my way are conflicting. My behavior and my conviction are conflicting. Oh, because of this conflict, I will not be able to get there. First, resolve these contradictions in you. If you need help, write to me. Because it's obviously going to be personal. So you write to me, I'll help you get over these contradictions, get your doubts clear, become very clear about your goal and then you can move forward very easily. Super clear? So that's your biggest homework for the week. What are the contradictions in my own mind? So now we'll do a contemplation, 15-20 minutes, write down your notes, go through your notes, write down any questions that have come up which didn't get answered today. You can email your questions to me and do the self-explorations on every chapter of Nisargadatta Maharaj. People asked me questions and just because they've asked me a question, I created an audio self-exploration center to them and that's how self-exploration videos came up. Yeah. So, do every self-exploration. See if I really get it. Experientially is what I need to get it. Not intellectually. Intellectually means I'm using my mind and intellect to understand. Experientially means I'm staying away from thoughts and ideas and concepts and just observing my inner environment. Yeah? How a scientist would use a magnifying glass to observe something quietly. He's not thinking first only what is there. He's just observing. Yes, that is the meaning of self-exploration. Become a scientist for your own self and this is the specimen. Your own inner environment. Yes. Most important, see that you become very clear. Am I honest in my pursuit? If you're dishonest, if your tenacity is not there in purpose, you will not get there. You're wasting time. Yeah. Stop, stop doing that. It's better go these two hours, go watch some film. At least you will entertain yourself. But if you are very clear, know that is not my way. My way is really to know myself. Then become very, very tenacious about it. Tenacity is very important going forward. And honesty. And honesty is with yourself. It's not about Ekta. It's not about others. Honesty with your own self. Be honest in your pursuit of this path. Be tenacious and you will get to your goal instantly. Don't worry, I'm there to help you. Yeah? But you become clear first. Very, very clear. Drop all contradictions and one-pointed. You have to become one-pointedness towards your goal. How horses walk, no? You know horses have blinders, right? If you've not seen a domesticated horse, go see one this week. They have blinders so they don't look here and there. They have that single focus ahead only. Like that you have to have tenacity of your purpose. My goal and my way are one. Yeah. So become very clear this week. This way or that way, no problem. Doesn't matter. If it doesn't work, Advaita doesn't work for you, find another way. Yeah, but if this is what works for you, if you want to go with Nisargadatta Maharaj, he is very strict. Be 
tenacious, one pointed. Super clear? So examine this week, complete all the self explorations on all the five chapters if you've not completed yet. I'm not talking about contemplations, I'm talking about self explorations. These are different. Contemplation is just the reading of the same chapter. Yeah? Self exploration, a specific sticky points in that chapter which were addressed and helps you go in and recognize whether I understand that point experientially or not. All of them have been uploaded already to the website as well as YouTube. Okay, so complete the five self explorations this week. Complete uh, the contradictions in your mind homework and become very clear this is my path. Then start doing the sense of I am exploration. Okay, so I'll see you next week. Until then, be in the sense of. I am. Bye-bye.